Well, hello, YouTube. Eugene here with a review on the Jack Pacific Hyper Bomb Mega Man vs. Guts Man 8 bit figure pack. Yes, friends. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box right here. It says Mega Man and Mega Man vs. Guts Man. Got a nice shot of Mega Man himself here. Right here, a nice uh, window of the two figures here. Right here, got the 30th anniversary logo of Mega Man. And right here, Jack Pacific. Here's the top of the box. Here's the bottom of the box. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box, friends. It just pretty much shows what we've seen from the last review of the 8-bit figure packs of these Mega Man figures. So let's go ahead, friends, and get to it with Hyper Bomb Mega Man versus Guts Man. All right, friends, here they are. And so Jack Pacific has brought us another Mega Man 8-bit figure pack. And this time, it's a different version of Mega Man in a different pose. And another Robot Master from Mega Man 1, and that's Guts Man. Good old Gutsy here. The different version of Mega Man is called Hyper Bomb Mega Man, a weapon he obtained from Bomb Man, which is a weapon that is Guts Man's weakness in the game. So take a look at these figures, friends. And again, I am loving these figures a lot. They are so fun, which are these three-dimensional representation of the 8-bit graphics, the NES era figures. They do go past the world of Nintendo with the double-sided and the articulation as the world of Nintendo was just flat and black on the back. And again, I will say this, I do not own any of the uh, world of Nintendo figures and this is pretty much a start for me. So here he is, friends, Hyper Bomb Mega Man. Instead of his standard blue and light blue outfit, he has the color scheme of green and white. And his pose is different. Instead of firing his arm cannon, he's throwing. And so a nice close-up of his face here, really nice here. He's got the black lining around the figure here. And you can see it's very much thin here of the uh, figure here. And so, uh, and, you know, pretty much going with, you know, the 8-bit deal here. He's got a peg hole right here on his hand here, mainly for the accessory that comes with him, which is the weapon you obtained from Bomb Man. And so here it is. This is called the Hyper Bomb. And it's pretty much in black. It's got that nice white sheen here and here, which is really cool. I really like how it uh, looks and everything. Here's a the back as well but uh anyway and you know of course you know the articulation friends um again it is limited in mainly in his arm making it like you know pretty much making it you know accurate to the throwing and i pretty much prefer him in this pose here than the firing the arm cannon but uh anyway let's go ahead and, and peg it in to the arm here the hyper bomb like so and you can have it positioned in many many ways here and here but he looks really really good in this pose here mainly the throwing and again friends i'm gonna say this the length scale of these figures are two inches tall and so um really nice here front and back the articulation looks really good and there's really no flaws on these figures so here we go with Guts Man, friends, and good old Gutsy here. They captured his 8-bit features so well with him being in his large structure and bulky look. Uh, he looks really, really good, and uh, and his color scheme is red and orange. So here's a close-up of his face. I love how they did the sculpt on the face here. It looks really good here all around. He's got the black lining around the figure, pretty much that 8-bit deal here and you can see uh, what it looks like in this way here and then right here on his arm here he does have a peg hole on his arm mainly for the accessory that comes with him and it's this small I'm gonna call it a boulder or pretty much a a energy blast you know pretty much is a small boulder but it gets to be this big energy blast and you know pretty much whenever he swaps it with this arm but Anyway, you can uh, um, peg it in right here at the end of the arm here. I guess it's like he'll swap arms or pretty much, you know. But uh, anyway, and this is the weapon you'll be attaining from Guts Man, which is his, his super arm. And, um, of course, the articulation, friends. What we pretty much got 
some nice articulation in his arms here kind of similar to what we've seen with cut man but and but uh, and then here is the other side here of guts man but um again i'm going to say this i mean pretty much the accessories are very much swappable and it's pretty much for fun and of course you gotta um, enjoy the the uh double-sided here for these figures here which are really cool here and i think gutsman looks really really good he's a bit taller uh pretty much but he's still in that two inch scale there but they look really really good and um um, I kind of wish there was like another boulder or something or a big old block where he can, you know, pretty much pick it up. But I think I get where Jack Pacific was coming from when it came to Gutsman pretty much in this figure pack. Well, just like the last figure pack, in this figure pack, we do get this nice backdrop. And again, you can make a little diorama, which looks awesome with the figures on it, with the life bar being right here for Mega Man and the uh, bar for the villain, which is really, really cool and everything. But again, this is uh, still wishful thinking on my part, but I wish they kind of cut this down a couple notches just to make it bigger. I mean, pretty much accurate to the game, you know, the, the boss battle. But, you know, uh, and pretty much just to make it bigger, but, you know, it's due to the box, and they wanted to make it higher in this in this way. But anyway, again, don't get me wrong, it's a nice display piece. Some of you may keep this little nice display piece, uh, the, the backdrop. Some of you may not. And I mean, this is pretty much appropriate for ages 3 and up. Well, friends, my final thoughts on these figures. Well, I pretty much gave you all my input, Aldrin, if you feel about them and everything. But again, I'm going to say this. Good job again, Jack Pacific. I cannot help to harp on these figures and everything. The double-sided and the articulation, amazing. I mean, and again, I'm going to say this. There are no flaws or defects on these figures whatsoever. And... I am a big time fan of Guts Man. I love his 8-bit design on the figure here. They really captured that feature so, so well. So, again, thank you, Jack Pacific. And uh, I am definitely going to say this, friends. I do highly recommend these figures. If you are a die-hard Mega Man fan, go pick these up. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I'm hoping to God they're still, um, you know, in your local game stops to pick up these figures. And of course, if my uh, memory serves me right, I think they're now priced at $7.49. And of course, I got these $9.99 at my uh, local GameStop. So, I'm hoping to God you get it for $7.49. But think about it, friends. You're paying about $5 a piece for each figure. So, you know, and that's pretty much why the figure pack is $9.99. Which is a very reasonable, reasonable price. So... All I can say is, friends, good luck and happy hunting. And so, anyway, well, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And make sure, friends, you hit that bell icon when I upload a new video. And, of course, my friends, this review on the Jack Pacific Hyper Bomb Mega Man vs. Gutsman 8-Bit Figure Pack. I hope you enjoy. My friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And over the good day. And, my friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye, friends.